Hi guys, I'm back. My name is Ijoma Amagla. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, please do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to like, and most importantly, do not forget to share, 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 share. Okay, so we'll get right to it. I'm sure from the topic you already know what this is about. Yeah, guys, I won an award, eh, eh, I won an award. I won award for photography from LOA Awards, and oh my god, I am so, so proud of myself yeah 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 i'm proud of myself and the brand and i just thought i'd do a um, very short story so let's get right to it um so majority a lot of people have asked me how i started photography why photography and all it's not so much of a long story i was not born with a photo with a camera in my room obviously not but um so in 2016 yeah i was privileged to travel abroad and then when I traveled, I was going, walking on the streets of New York and I figured out, ah, why are these people shooting? What exactly are they shooting? Because they had long lenses. They had really long lenses. I was really, I was really wondering what was happening here, right? So I decided to buy my camera there. That was how I got my first camera. I can't really remember the name of the camera, but I got my first camera there. And then I came back to Nigeria and I tried taking the pictures, but guys it's the camera it's not a phone camera kind of right you had to learn iso shutter speed and the rest of them but i didn't want to sit down to learn it at that point so what i did was i was just carrying a camera on my neck and i went to unilag and if you know unilag stuff like that entice people so people will be interested to talk to you oh you have a camera nice and that was how i had conversations with people Right. But then moving on, a few weeks later, a few months later, I realized that a lot of people asked me, oh, come and take a picture of me with your camera. But I didn't know how to use a camera. OK, so I decided to actually now learn how to use a camera. Right. And that was the beginning of, guys, an entire journey for me, which I am so grateful for. Um, but to be honest, it has not been the easiest journey so far. I had a lot of challenges, so I had to do um, bit internship with some people here and there and it was not one of the best experiences i can't go into majority of the details but it was not the best experiences i started getting gigs in school people few people knew me as a photographer in school and to be honest just to be fair i'm a woman so there was more interest in it people were like oh yeah a female photographer right so there were, people were more interested to know about me but that didn't stop because of people were interested to know about me it didn't really stop me from giving my best regardless i still had to learn to do the stuff i still had to learn to do the work and to be honest photography was not giving me anything i was so heartbroken i had to go and do a nine to five job in a digital marketing firm right but then again i realized that i was really not fulfilling anything there so just um i was just i kept going in circles and to be honest i really didn't like it so NYC came, I did NYC, and then I moved back to Lagos. I did my three weeks, and then I moved back to Lagos, right? But to be honest, even with all this, photography was still not giving me anything. I was almost not feeling like, I was not fulfilled doing it in as much as I loved it. And I studied HR, Human Resource, in the University of Lagos. But I was doing photography full-time now. So what I did to myself, what I thought, I had to definitely make income. I opened a logistic business, I started a clothing line, and I was still doing photography by the side. I honestly was exhausted, like, I was literally exhausted. I was here, 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 and definitely I had other things, personal things to do. But I also realized that I was not fulfilling what I wanted to do. And just to be honest, there, were, there was no structure in any of these businesses. So, you know what I decided? covid was more like a and nevertheless i was also going to mention that regardless i was still doing great work with photography because i really remember that i was getting nominated for different awards i was nominated for under 25 awards i was nominated for entrepreneurship award when i was in school so even doing all this i was still doing great work but i realized that my 
um, my skill, I was not focused on one thing per time, right? It was just scattered everywhere. During the COVID pandemic, I attended a class. And after the COVID pandemic, I decided that, you know what, I was going to close down the two businesses and just focus full time in photography and media as a whole. And this has been a wonderful journey. I would not even lie. So um, let's head back to the topic. For me, winning this Eloy Award is, to be honest, is one of the best things for me in 2022, for me, for my team, and for EJ Works as a brand. What does this award mean to me? I have had a lot of people reach out to me to find out, oh, it's just an award. Oh, probably people nominated you for it. And just people trying to downplay it, right? But nevertheless, I really do not take it up for granted. I, I know this award for me is the beginning of influence is the beginning of impact for me i as a female and as a female photographer in the industry we need to have people we need to know people that have voices that can speak up for things right and this award is just a proof to me and i am genuinely and honestly grateful for this award to come to ej works to come to the brand and to come to ej Magla and um, every time I look at it, I just know that there is more work to be done, to be honest. There is a lot of work. I This is the least that we can be in, and there is more work. But I just want to thank everybody for supporting the brand, for supporting me, for seeing a vision and just encouraging us in one way or the other. Um, yes, cheers to 2023. Bye. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. I've, I've said my story, so please <laughs> like, subscribe, and share. I, I'll catch you later. Bye.